Finally, and off we go from Notre Dame Stadium. Line drive kick Tyree from the one. With space, can he get to the edge? Yes. Foot race. They've got an angle on him. But Tyree will start it across midfield for Notre Dame. A 50-yard kickoff return. And from the 48, Cone surveys to the middle of the field. Hunt. Kevin Austin to the 10-yard line. A kickoff, a snap, and the Irish are in the red zone. Tech brings four. Cone trying to step up, but he's brought down. Jordan Dominic came off the edge, and they pin Cone back at the 23-yard line. Out of the pistol on second and two. The H pressure by Fosky. Good interception. That one's going to count, and that's a Jack Kaiser. Notre Dame touchdown. Yeah, so let's look at Isaiah Foskey right here. This guy has just been wrecking left tackles all, all year long. This time they put a tight end on him. That's no match for Foskey. He's able to get pressure on the quarterback. One thing Jordan Yates is if he's going to keep his team in this game, you can't make decisions like this. You're going down. You're trying to get rid of the ball to avoid the sack. That's the last thing that can happen. And Jack Kaiser has his second interception of the season, third of his career. And it is a 9 nothing Notre Dame lead. Yeah, they're, they're in what you call sub-personnel, so it's three wide receivers, one tight end, one running back. Looking left where the three receivers were. Everything's covered. Cone flings it across complete. Braden Lindsay with the catch. And the run after the catch of first down to the Yellow Jackets, 12-yard line. Second and seven from the nine, Tommy Reese, the offensive coordinator for Notre Dame, has emphasized red zone, and especially from the 10 in better play, over these last couple of games. We'll give it to Kyron Williams, bouncing it left. Williams at the five and into the end zone. Notre Dame touchdown, Kyron Williams. Yeah, really nice job by the offensive line here and Kyron Williams. Just watch his patience as he gets the ball here and what it does to this linebacker right here. He sets him up in the hole, almost gets him picked with the left guard, but just kind of watch his feet as he gets to this point. And just, you don't, you hesitate a little bit, you set up that block, make that defender make a decision as to which gap he's gonna fill, and then put your foot in the ground and go the other direction. Kind of that great mix of, of, of serious and silly. He protects Cone, oh, throws wide this. open. Michael Mayer, house call. The Irish dominating in this opening quarter. You know, I love this route concept. Watch Michael Mayer right here. It's basically my favorite play. All go special, baby. You got four <laughs> verticals out of a three by one. They just lose Michael Mayer as that number two seam. Jack Cohn does a nice job just going through his progression, finding him there. Michael Mayer is their big play guy. Get him the ball as much as you can, but really nice play design there by Tommy Reese. Touchdown number seven on the year for Mayer. The longest catch of his career that time waited too long pressure picked up here's cone stays in throws the crosser is Kyron Williams and a first down and he'll step out at the 36 yard line before Noah Collins can take him out and not just the way that he's played this year the way that he's led his team to three comeback victories in fourth quarter or overtime Diggs powers it in it's another Notre Dame touchdown and the Cone family continues to enjoy. But also as a mentor for these young quarterbacks, because it has taken these other quarterbacks to really play and contribute at times to Tyler Buckner, Drew Pine. But Jack Cone has been that consistent voice, that consistent leadership. His coachability is what Tommy Reese and Brian Kelly talked about, You know, because they really revamped this offense about five weeks ago after the Virginia Tech win. Light you is one of the volunteers for the Notre Dame coaching staff. He's watching Kyron Williams bust into the secondary and to the 33 yard line, a gain of 27. Mayor alone at the top of the screen, joined by Tyree. Tone fakes it, 
Gets it out. Beautiful play design. Digs inside the 10. Got a great block. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Play design, excellent. Effort and execution, fabulous. Dominant first half from the Irish. Yeah, so they bring a corner blitz right here, which is what Jack Cohen ends up having to navigate as he makes this throw. Good job getting it to Logan Diggs. Here's the best part of this. Watch how he sets up that block by Josh Lug in space. I'm telling you, as a running back, that's one of your best traits is your ability in space to set up those blocks, whether it's offensive linemen on screens or receivers down the field. And that comes to an end for them as well. Cohen going to take a deep shot to Kevin Austin here. And Austin brought it in. Austin to the 39-yard line. Long throw on Wanye Thomas, the free safety. Now Kevin Austin has been their deep threat all year long. This time from the slot receiver position. Watch, watch how he just, he knows it's underthrown. He just puts his hand on the DB. Ah, just get him off me a little bit. Maybe a little bit of a push. But his ability to adjust to, to balls that have been underthrown, he's caught these deep balls in a lot of different ways. Sometimes over the top, sometimes back shoulder. Protected. Everything covered downfield. Releasing is George Takis towards the goal line. And Takis will be out of bounds just shy of the touchdown. That is just the second catch of the year for the senior from Naples, Florida. Third and goal. We'll try Williams again. And off a second would-be tackler. And in for a second Notre Dame touchdown. So the Irish are up to 44. And the second half begins with a kickoff return for Jameer Gibbs. Runs into his own man but stays on his feet with a lot of space over here. Gibbs tracked down by Houston Griffith and will go out of bounds at the 40-yard line. But also just put these guys in a position to succeed. And, you know, they're playing very, very well together right now. It's At times it's a little bit of bend over break. A nice run here by Dante Smith. He wouldn't go down. He shows... Some good effort to Jeff Collins to the 34 yard line and the Irish will go to Tyler Buckner for the first time as Jack Cohn takes his helmet off Buckner who has played in a steady amount but didn't play until really the fourth quarter save for a snap or so against Virginia he'll take over here at the seven to keep it and Buckner is on the run and Tyler Buckner chased from behind at the 40 takes it all the way to the 20 Five yard line. Huge run by the freshman from California. 68 yards on the game. I mean, watch this. This is this is pretty much how his college career started here, Mike. If yeah. you remember, first play against Toledo, backed up inside his 10-yard line, and he pulls it on a on a read option play. And man, it was like the parting of the Red Sea right there. I better start getting my mind right. But yeah, that, that's I think the great kickers have have the ability to stay very calm and poised and you know, flip that switch on oh, the time. Nice here by Yates on the run down the sideline. Yates cuts it back inside and inside the 15 yard line. You would assume four down territory if they don't make it. Yates chased in trouble trying to get rid of it. Ruled a fumble on the ground, and Myron Tungo by Loa Amosa on senior day. Trying to stay up, he does, and goes the distance. If it's a fumble, it is a big man senior day touchdown for Myron Tungo by Loa Amosa. Boy, what an unbelievable effort. First off, Isaiah Foskey causes the fumble here let's see if he can get this yeah fumble he knocks that ball loose before the ball arm starts going forward what myron looked like an athlete here this is good switch he, hands the ball yeah he looked like he knew what he was doing going back to the high school days where they probably let him run with the ball occasionally jason adamy lola was very close to a push in the back they are looking at it in replay terry mccauley Absolutely fumble. Drew had it. Drew nailed it right off the bat. He loses control just before the hand starts going forward. This is a fumble. So third down, they come back with the starters in there. And Foskey, who that would be his fourth forced fumble 
of the season which moves him somewhere close to the top 10 nationally in forced fumbles this year. And then Myron Tungo by Loa Mosa takes it. And After Mar further review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. So Tungo by Loa Mosa will get credit for the touchdown. The first of his career. Remember, he almost had a touchdown against Virginia a couple of years back. But on senior day, the uh, graduate student from Hawaii comes up with the big play. The ones that they're taking. Likely the final play here. And it's Estime with the run. He'll stay on his feet to the 25. And that will complete a dominant home season in the most dominating of fashions. The Irish will win 30 of their last 31 games. They will beat an unranked team for the 41st consecutive time. They'll win a 15th consecutive November game. And Notre Dame will be a 10 win or more team for the fifth consecutive year. That's never happened in the glorious history of Notre Dame football. 55 to nothing the Irish on this real statement day where teams are making statements like Cincinnati ahead 34 to nothing. Ohio State's dominance of Michigan State. The Irish on their senior day keep their voice in the conversation. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.